Hey guys, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Ideas. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the explosion generator we discussed earlier. Okay, let's launch it here. Okie dokie. Alright, so the first screen you see is all the settings that you can actually control your um, explosion. You can see here uh, my explosion at the moment bright red, yellow, some fragments, etc. Um, down the left here, I've put a few in, a few example ones. Um, you just click it, obviously, and it just generates that new one. Um, so whichever one you want. Um, yeah, let's let's stick with this one. So what you can do is you can change, for example, these fragments at the end. Let's turn them off. So there's no more fragments. Uh, we can change how many sparks. It's basically different flare values, etc. You'd have to play around with these to get the effect that you're looking for. Um, so you can just twist and turn them, like so. There we go. Bit of a molten one. Um, change the colours a little bit. So let's have a a bluey one okay put no merge on the colors change the variances in the color as well so here we go so it's quite a lot of controls uh, for creating different types of explosions etc um, you just keep fiddling around till you find one that you like and when you do find one you like you just hit the grab frames button here okay there we go so the frames have all been grabbed now so you can visualize the explosion Change the background. Let's have a look. What it looked like on a dark background. Yeah, not too bad. Um, but what I would like is it to be a bit brighter. So what you can actually do is change the contrasts here um, of the actual graphics that's going to get produced. Um, so and again, you can go back and test that as well. So let's have a look what that looked like on a dark background. Yeah, not so good. Let's do a hit for frames again, and it will grab a new series of frames. And as you can see, each time it gets a slightly different frame. So it's very experimental. Um, the idea is to generate unique explosions. Oh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. Um, so yeah, so that you know, none of your explosions are the same. When you do find one you like, just hit the export to PNG. Here, choose where you want it to go to. I'll put it in my explosions folder. Okay. Where's my explosions folder? Here we go. So here's my explosions. Now to get them into Game Salad, um, it's quite straightforward. You just open the Game Salad here. Um, it comes with a project, a um, very basic project, um, just visualize them. Just drag your explosions into the images, um, replace them all, yeah, play it. And then you can just test what it would look like here, for example. Yeah. So let's do another one. Let's do one a bit brighter. Okay, so explosion generator, settings. Let's start off with big red. Yep, yeah, it's nice, big red. Let's put the fragments back in. Okay, we'll do some peaks on this one as well. So, you know, quite a few controls on this. Uh, we're going to slow the steps down, up the life cycle. There we go. Okay, one of them lowered, lowered. Okay, so again, I've got my own unique um, explosion going on here, really. So, okay, we are working on a smoke generator on this as well. Um, so, there will be more in this in the future. Um, oh, that's a nice one. Let's go with that. Okay, so let's grab them frames. Here we go. There's my explosion. Um, looks like I don't really have to do too much to it. I, mean, I quite like the brightness. I quite like it all. Let's just go with that. Export into my explosions folder again. Okay, that's done. Let's open up Game Salad. Pop those images in, replace all. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a nice explosion. Uh, simple application, generate unique explosions. Play around with them as much as you like, all the settings. See if you find any ones you like, create new ones. Um, you will be able to save these out in the future, your settings. So you will be able to share them or open other people's up. Um, so yeah, so lots more to come from this application, but for now, it's going to be a work in progress. We are going to make this free to everybody, so um, we'll let you know when it's going to be available. Okay, bye.